today I have a full face tutorial for you and it is with all products from one brand and it's MAC. I did a Rouge Bunny Rouge one brand tutorial and a lot of you liked it and requested that I do some more brands so I thought why not start with one of my all time favorites and that is MAC. So I went ahead and used all the products that I have from MAC to create this full face look and I kind of talked to you a little bit about the products, whether I like them, whether I don't. Um, some of the products are my favorite and what I specifically love about MAC products. I'm doing this as a collab video with my friend Casey from Cast Makeup or Case Makeup. I've heard it pronounced both ways Casey. and I will leave her channel name right here. She does amazing videos, she's super sweet, she's really beautiful and she's just so easy and down to earth. Leave a link to her video and channel down below and you should definitely head over there and subscribe. If you're coming from Casey's channel, hi, it's nice to meet you and I hope you subscribe and stay a while. So a lot of you who are watching me know and for those of you who don't, MAC is my favorite brand. It's what pretty much I have been devoted to for many years. Before I kind of got into YouTube, I was really loyal to MAC and then I started discovering more brands. So I have a lot of MAC products because it is my favorite. I think their eyeshadows are quality, I think their blushes are amazing, I think their lipsticks are some of my favorite. The thing I love about MAC is throughout their products they have a wide color selection for each. So since this is a full face look, it is going to be a rather long video. So I'm going to get started into this full face look using MAC. MAC Cosmetics. So the only foundation that I have for MAC is this Pro Longwear Foundation. I don't particularly love it. It's a little bit heavy, um, but it is full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I'm in the color NC15, um, just for reference. I'm using the Sedona Lace Vortex brushes because I don't, I only own one MAC eye brush and I will, when I use that, I will let you know. Since this foundation is really heavy, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with Max Fix Plus. This is just a, like a skin refreshing mist. It has some vitamins and minerals in it that are really great for the skin. So I'm just going to kind of dampen this up, dampen my brush with a few squirts of that so the foundation doesn't go on quite as thick. I do find that this foundation wears very long on me. Um, it is very full coverage though, so I like to build it up in layers. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite concealers from MAC. This is the Pro Longwear Concealer, and I have the color NW15. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so, so full coverage. It has a technology in it that makes it crease proof. So if you're really looking for something, you can use this on your eyelids as a primer. I'm going to use it under my eyes and it for a touch up. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this under my eyes in a V and a little bit over take this foundation brush and go around the edges of that okay, I do not have a eyeliner pencil which is how I do prefer to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to use the shadow from MAC it's called Omega it is a really nice cool toned very very pale brown and it's perfect for blondes because it doesn't look too red or too brown so or too dark so I'm going to just take an angled brush, this is from Billion Dollar Brows, and I'm going to fill in my brows. So we're going to do like a fall eye today. Um, some of my favorite colors to be wearing in the fall. I did have a tutorial requested on some of these shades, so I just thought I would do it. Plus, some of them are my favorites from MAC. So I'm going to go in with Soft Brown. Really nice. It's kind of a more orangey brown color, but I would say it's a staple color from MAC that you should invest in. And I'm going to take a MAC, this is the only MAC brush that, or I have two MAC brushes, but this is one of the only ones. Take this 286, it is a duo fiber brush. And I'm going to go in and run soft brown all through my crease. And I'm just going to do it very messily. 
because it's really just a transition color. I find you can really build soft brown up, so it makes a really great transition color. I'm gonna kind of messily run a little soft brown like this under my eye. Any type of blending brush that you have, I'm gonna go into this color called Coppering from MAC. It's just a really gorgeous copper color, perfect for the fall. And I'm just going to run this through my crease very gently. Get it like right in the crease, right under that soft brown color. And then I just uh, barely put it on the lid. I'm going to go back in with this first blending brush that had the soft brown on it and kind of just soften it up and blend those two shades together going up towards my brow and then just drag whatever's left on the brush right under. I love MAC shades because they have so many different colors and that's like what initially attracted me to MAC eyeshadow. I buy them in pan form so they're much cheaper when you buy them in pan form and put them in a palette than when you buy them in the pots. So if you are looking to invest in some MAC shadows, I highly, highly recommend that you think about getting them in the pans and investing in a palette. The palette isn't very expensive at all. I believe it's $8 and then the insert is either $2 or $4. So it's, it's a great investment if you are wanting to get more than a couple of shades from MAC. Now I'm going to go into this color right here and this is called Antiqued. It's just a little bit darker obviously than the coppering and it's a gorgeous bronzy red tone antique color and I'm just going to darken up the outer portion of the eye with this color. I'm using the Sedona Lace brush. This is the ED15. It's like a tapered blending brush that came in the Vortex set. And I'm really kind of creating a cat eye with this and only taking it on the outer corner of my eye. Just a little bit into the crease right there but only on the outer portion. We don't want to drag this color all the way in. Really use that tip and kind of swirl it around. And I'm going to take this blending brush that we use and I'm just going to kind of go over and soften up the lines that we used with the soft brown. This is called Nylon. Very, very pigmented. Um, makes a gorgeous highlight. And I'm going to put that all on the inner portion and all over my lid until it kind of meets up with the darker antique color. I'm using a flat shader brush. This is the EB11. just pack that color in and we will work on molding those two colors together and blending them out more once we have the color on. I'm going to take the brush that we use the coppering on and I'm just going to kind of blend that in over here to just blend those shades together and kind of go over right there. I'm going to spray my brush with Fix Plus and this sometimes helps when you're wanting to emphasize the sheen on an eyeshadow. So just get your brush a little bit damp. You don't have to use Fix Plus. You can use, just use water or spit or whatever. But I'm going to just use a little bit of Fix Plus just to apply that nylon so that I can get it really vibrant. Okay, and to go in and really deepen up this outer corner and the bottom lash line, I'm going to take Sketch right here. It's this deep maroon color, one of my serious favorites, an alternative to black. Really like those deeper maroon colors, especially if you have blue or green eyes. 
they just really bring it out. It's a beautiful outer corner shade and it's extremely pigmented. I'm just going to take this brush that we used the antiqued on. Make sure you tap off the excess because the shade does tend to have a lot of fallout. So I'm just going to tap that on the outer corner right here and really just tap at this point. the very tip of this brush. It's almost like you're pouncing it on there. This brush from MAC that had the soft brown on it and I'm gonna just ever so slightly just go over that on the outer corner. Since we do have that shimmer on the lid I'd like to go a little bit more matte on the brow bone so I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is Mylar and it's just more of a satin and it doesn't come across with any shimmer or shine at all. So I'm just going to kind of run that right under the brow. Now I'm going to take Max Eye Coal in Costa Riche. I love Max Eye Coals. I absolutely think that they are some of the best. Their PowerPoint liners are my favorite and I find that they apply so, so smooth and they last pretty long on me. The PowerPoint ones last forever. I highly, highly recommend those. Um, this is just the regular eye coal and it's in the color Costa Rica. It's almost like a reddish brown. That's why I like it. So I'm just going to run that in the waterline and just take it about halfway in. I'm just going to drag this along the upper lash line just on this outer portion right here with just an angled brush from that Sedona Lace set and just kind of blend that out and soften the line a little bit. I really love that color especially for fall because it's such a warm brown it has so much red tones to it Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes with MAC Eyelash Curler, and I only have a sample of mascara, and this is the MAC Zoom, MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these, and I'll be right back to finish up the face. Okay, so now that that is done for bronzer, I have this. This is MAC MSF and Give Me Sun. I like it, but it is a little bit orange, so I would try some of their regular blinds, bronzers, especially if you're fair skinned. I'm just going to use this brush that came with, it's like a pointed brush, FB03, and I'm just going to slightly contour my face and just go around the perimeters of my face with this. I have to really be careful because it's so orangey, but I figured it would play fairly well with this look so that's why I pulled it out um, but as for recommendations of bronzers I would go with their regular line bronzers I've heard their pro long wear bronzers are really nice now I'm going to go into an amazing blush this is called Melba from Mac and I do have a full video on my blush collection with swatches this is just a very beautiful everyday peachy toned blush I love it. I feel like it goes with everything, particularly with this look. So I'm just going to use the same brush we use and just dip the tip of that in. Okay, so for one of my all-time favorite highlighters is Max MSF in Soft and Gentle. This is a gorgeous champagne highlighter. I feel like it's flattering on almost, on almost anyone. It just has such a beautiful sheen to it. And you can use this as an eyeshadow or the highlight on the tops of my cheeks like I'm going to do today. So I'm using this fan brush from Sedona Lace Vortex set. And I'm just going to kind of run it in there, tap some off, and really just apply it right there to the very tops of my cheekbones. Because Melba is matte, I felt like we could go in with a little bit of highlight. Okay, and the last thing up are lipsticks. 
MAC's lipsticks have to be some of my favorites. I have a huge collection of them. They are the first lip, like higher end lipstick that I got. They run about 15 to 16, I think they run either 15 or 16.50. I can't remember what the price increase was. So many different shades, so many different finishes. I love, love, love all of them. I'm going to go in with one of my favorites for the fall, and that is Max Rebel. It's just a beautiful berry toned, that's a bad swatch, but berry toned color. And I just absolutely love this color for the fall. I'm going to be pairing that with Max Beat Liner. Um, it's just a really nice reddish liner that pairs really well. Rebel is a satin. I had down a little bit of their lip glass in underage. It's just like a really neutral color. I had that on when I was doing my makeup. So it went on a little bit more sheer. If you're worried about the really intense pigmentation of a color like Rebel, I highly suggest putting down some type of like opaque lip gloss underneath. And that way when you apply the lipstick, you're not going to get as intense of a color. And it kind of gives you like that middle ground onto bold lips. Okay everyone, so I went ahead and did my hair because it was a crazy little mess in the last portion of the video. This is the finished look from the eyes to the cheeks to the lips. I love all these products. Like I said, MAC is my favorite brand. I'm very loyal to it. I feel like they don't disappoint me much and they have a great return policy if you are disappointed in the product. So um, don't forget to head over to Casey's channel and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have more one brand tutorials that you'd love to see, leave them below. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.